Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm going to catch up on journaling which I'm very excited to do because if you've watched any of my last couple of days I've been really busy doing other stuff and this is where I feel really happy. So let us do it. Then I gotta get it ready for work but that's a problem for 30 minutes from now. So come along with me, get out your journals, your sketchbooks, your notebooks, uh, do whatever you want. Get your planner out and let's just relax for a little while. So let's see where we left off. I'm not even sure. I always forget what I've showed you guys in here and what I haven't. These are all old. Okay, so I remember showing you my 2020 wish list and some listings, some journaling. This was my um, sort of fall relaxation, um, make myself comfortable at home art journaling spread. It's not really art, I guess. I just stuck down collage and stickers, but uh, I really liked that. And then in this one, you saw that I journaled here about home, and then I made a tip-in uh, with a piece of scrapbook paper and some fabric, and then the two candles that I bought for this last weekend, Cashmere Woods and Sheer Vanilla Embrace. Oh, it's making my house smell so nice. And then these were the old school pictures that I took out of the frame that's up in the kitchen so that I could put their new ones in. These are two years old. Last year's never got put in because they were a little bit on the hideous side. Uh, and then this was me giving myself a high five for uh, all the cleaning and organizing that we got done over the weekend. And I'm happy to report that it just kind of continued uh, this week. I've been on a tear. And just so you guys know, you guys are <laughs> reminding me so much that I need to slow down and take some time and I don't always have to be busy. I just want to tell you guys that I am a very slow moving sloth like person. This spurt of ambition, I don't know where it's coming from, but I'm trying to take advantage of it because I know that I go in cycles and my next cycle will be a nap cycle. So <laughs> where I do a lot of rest and restoration. So don't you worry about me. It's all good. I take, I take good care of myself. Um, so, uh, and I by no means meant to post those vlogs to make you feel like, ooh, look how much I do. Like, not at all. I just thought it would be fun to have you guys along. And for once, I was actually doing something other than napping so, so or cleaning toilets. So I thought maybe that would be fun for you guys to see. So that's kind of why I did it. So uh, don't let that make you feel guilty because these projects that you watched me do um, have been years that I've been putting it off. Years that my basement has looked like a tornado hit it and stuff like that. So it's not... Uh, I'm by no means a perfect person, so don't let that get in your mind. <laughs> um, I loved this. I don't think you guys saw this. Um, it was a magazine. Um, I tore it out of a magazine and I loved it. It was like this little girl with a bullhorn and a to-do list and that is what I felt like. So I tipped it in and I wrote my fall declutter list. So let's see what we've done so far. Ooh, we made progress this weekend. Um, basement and we did playroom I want to do the family room cabinets that's a super quick one it's just like all of our old DVDs our master closet ooh that's ugly um, the kitchen cupboards I want to clean out the kitchen cupboards like actually dust them out and then um, get rid of all of our old cups we've got so many cups it's like we could give an army a glass of water everyone in the army a glass of water in a different cup and then our linen closets are an absolute disaster all of the sheets and towels are just shoved in there <laughs> it's it's yeah so um and then this was more um journaling like this was the um i cut out of a magazine i just love this sunflower and this was also from a magazine. I loved that. It felt very fall-like to me. 
And then this was from the Breathe magazine that I started to just uh, repurpose. Uh, the one that I'm not using as a magazine journal, and I really liked this. I used another butterfly. This was from one of my son's Boy Scouting magazines, and it's a little kid hand holding a bunch of junk. And this is like an exact perfect example of all of the stuff that I was going through in the basement, like random buttons and rocks and tickets and crayons. So I just thought that was perfect. <laughs> Um, this is also cut out from a magazine, from a Breathe magazine. I just really liked the fall leaves on the ground. Um, these two people are, I think, walking, like with walking sticks. <laughs> but it sort of reminded me of a man and a woman because of like the green and the pink. And Tuesday, Michael was off and we spent the whole day having a date day. And it was perfect. We had a wonderful day. So um, I just journaled about that. And that's the last of it. Oh, Addie gave me this when she was down here journaling with me. And so I tipped it in. It says, I love you. And it's some sort of rainbow. So I'm just going to catch up today. Today is Friday. So I've got like three days of journaling to catch up on. Um, and I all my sprocket is out of paper. So I don't have any... Um, pictures that I can print, which is a real bummer because I'd love to stick in little pictures of everything that we got done. Um, I did want to put in a picture of like a little snippet of these red leaves because this morning on the way to school, we saw some red leaves. So they're starting to change. The kids love fall just as much as I do. Um, they were excited to see the pretty leaves change so it's just starting here so I think the next two weeks will be really nice next two weeks will be really pretty that's my favorite time of the year is fall Michael and I love fall we got married in the fall so good memories 10 years coming up holy shit balls that's a long time Oh, and then I thought this was really funny. I found this on the floor of the basement when I was cleaning up yesterday. It's a fortune that says, now is a good time to finish up old tasks. I thought that was pretty apropos. So <laughs> I kept it and stuck it on my art desk to uh, put in here because I thought that was so funny. Because that's what I was doing, finishing up old tasks. Ooh, I might put in this airmail because my... I got the email yesterday that my Hobonichi um, I'm going to put a coffee sticker for today because I got to go to work. This is my work weekend. So let's put this uh, wood looking arrow. That's kind of pretty. It's like fall this way. These are cool stickers. They're um, watercolor stickers. So I can watercolor on them, which is kind of cool. Ooh, look at that. That would make a pretty ticket. Ooh, maybe I'll put in a little um, feather. It's kind of pretty. Maybe I could color it. Ooh, ooh, okay. I see you, Vicky. That's pretty. That's pretty. Ooh. Okay, okay. I like that. Well, those are fun. I've been seeing so many monarch like butterflies lately. Alright, I'll take it. Kinda reminds me of the butterflies I've been seeing. Oh, I did kind of want to cut out this yoga 
yoga lady so that I could remind myself to relax. Not everything has to be go, 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 go. I know you guys are worried about me. <laughs> Our hair is blowing up. Um, I kind of like that here because, you know, on my weekends that I work, I sort of have to get myself in a good mental space because sometimes it can get a little trying. <laughs> as anybody's job can, I'm sure. So this is just gonna remind me, ooh, to relax, and that I don't have to be super productive this weekend, but I don't actually have to be super productive anytime. A comment that somebody wrote reminded me of that, that I read that once, that like, you don't need to do anything to be worthy. You know what I mean? Worthy of relaxation, worthy of happiness. You don't have to get anything done. All you have to do is exist. And you're, you're good. I know sometimes I need to be reminded of that. I feel like I need to be getting things done in order to, um, in order to be, you know, good or good enough. Or I don't even know what the feeling is. I love this wording. A highly haphazard woman. <laughs> I cut that out to use somewhere because I thought it was perfect. Ooh, this window I really like. With like bricks in the background. That's pretty. Um, Wednesday was our big shopping day. I wanted to write about that. Um, and how we did the frames. Ooh, I might cut out the tip of this. Michael's coupon because I, I almost feel bad about that because somebody had to have made a mistake. That was definitely a math mistake. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't feel bad because I told her my math. Like, I was like, I think it'll be like 88 something. And she was working on her calculator and she's like, okay, I have to do it a different way. I was like, all right, whatever. And then all of a sudden she's like, okay, they're each going to be 525 and this is your total. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I will take that. All right. <laughs> and the cats, this little picture of the huddling cats is kind of funny because all of this moving around and business has been, uh, has been making them a little like, whoa, what's going on? They're like huddling together. And then Fatty, he's been really enjoying sleeping in the playroom now. I don't know why, but it's like his favorite place to sleep now. So I'm going to put that in there. Ooh, some of uh, my old Halloween stickers that I had last year. These were the cutest Halloween stickers. Black whiskers, black cat whiskers, all natural. That's cute. I kind of could put that because I've been seeing, you know, all the, since it's officially October, all of the Halloween decorations have been out and it's been making me so happy because I love seeing all the Halloween decorations. It's little witch legs. How cute is that? Black cat whiskers. All right, now let's do some journaling. I also wanted to put that we did the first vlog. These are all stickers from those kits that I got from Tuesday morning. I can try and link them. Um, they were on sale at Tuesday morning. I've been over this a zillion times. Like they were um, on sale for like six something at Tuesday morning when regularly these stickers are like 19 something a piece. I was just journaling about how it kind of made me a little sad to, to give away that pile of toys because it, um, a lot of those things have memories attached, you know, from when the kids were little and 
they're getting bigger and I get that it's just just a little sad but it's just things and oh look at this is perfect I wonder where I could put this Maybe I'll move my October sticker. I know it's just things, and it made me happy giving him to Goodwill that, like, maybe some people would have toys, um, you know, some good toys for kids for Christmas that um, maybe wouldn't have been able to afford a lot of toys otherwise. So I liked that idea, but um, it still was a little bit sad too. Get rid of them. Oh, I want to write that it was so beautiful yesterday. It was the perfect fall day. It was like 58 degrees and like kind of the sun was in and out. It was just beautiful. Skinny double-sided adhesive. Don't know what I would do without it. I'm just putting all these pretty flowers on. See, this is where it gets really tough to write. I wonder if I could do like that. Oh, there we go. I like this tree. That's kind of a cool tree. There, I wanted to write that just as a reminder you do not have to be productive to be worthy you just are maybe I'll put a heart right out of her mind she's thinking loving thoughts she's loving herself that's what she's doing and with that I am done <laughs> So I hope that you guys got some journaling done and that you enjoyed the chat and uh, I will see you soon. Hopefully we'll, um, I'll be here for a Sunday to plan for the upcoming week ahead in my little pocket. And uh, until then, I hope you have a great weekend and that uh, you find a little me time. Okay guys, bye.